Hey yo everybody, Vino over here, back with some more <laughs> Saya no Yuta, or Song of Saya, whatever you want to call it. Yo, let's let, let's not hold nothing back, let's just get right into it. Um, it was a tragedy that could have happened to anyone, a tractor trailer flipped over. <laughs> oh god, crashing the Psyche Psyche family into <laughs> Twisted Scrap. Oh right, that's, that's probably why he's so fucked up seeing all this nasty shit. Well then, they said it had been difficult to tell the corpses of Fuminari's mother and father apart. Okay, well, for a while it had looked as if there was no hope for Fuminari's uh, survival, that he was able to leave the hospital and return to his life was nothing short of a miracle. I don't think you could call that life. It's crazy as shit. He was wi- He was worse when we went to see him in the hospital, remember? He was terrified of us. Oh, yeah. He was terrified of us like he didn't know who we were and freaked out so bad he t had to be tied to the bed. Oh. What if he had just killed him and that was the end of the story? He wakes up and they're like, uh, hey bro. Oh, just stabs him. End of, end of Sayano Yuta. I'm just glad he's made it this far. Well, that's very considerate of you, but he is crazy as shit. There's still something strange about him. What's with the way he looks at us? It's like we're not human. Alright, they would not be able to tell that much. They, you would not use those words. You would not use, it doesn't seem like he thinks we're human. You use like, I don't, it's like he doesn't recognize us or something like that. Fuck you, Omi. Piece of shit. You don't know anything. Except, except you got these bad boys. Oh, shit. <laughs> Cut it out, Omi. Asshole or bitch. Uh, Koji says forcefully, his words of restraint probably less out of empathy for his friend than out of consideration for Yo. The fuck does Yo care? Oh, well, okay. Your eyes are really far apart, bruh. <laughs> well, Koji's kindness makes her happy. Yo also knows that, as Koji says, she mustn't depend on it. Fumimori <laughs> Fumimori is a victim. He's the one who deserves sympathy. Yeah, fuck you, Yo. Yo's feelings for Fuminori are her problem, and no one else's. She doesn't blame Fuminori for not responding to her immediately after she finally woke up the courage to confess to him. <laughs> you get in an accident, your mom and dad die, you barely make it out alive, and then you wake up to a monster wanting to blow you. That is, that is the life, everybody. I could not imagine a more perfect scenario. <laughs> ah, shit. In fact, she thinks even, even more fondly of him. For a serious consideration of her feelings, then she would have had he given a quick cat My ball sack. That that is a blatant lie. Any girl, if you're gonna if you confess to somebody, you want an answer right there quick. <laughs> That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Assuming that just be Assuming that, just because Fuminori didn't turn Yo down, the hey they were essentially a couple. I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> what the fuck? None of this makes sense. Oh, you didn't give me an answer? So we're basically a couple now. <laughs> Take me out of Red Lobster, bitch. <laughs> you cheap bastard. Cozy and Omi have had plenty of fun at their expense. However, he still hasn't given her an answer. And you're not going to get an answer except a chainsaw to the face. <laughs> After revealing her feelings to him, Sho didn't see Fumori. Oh, uh, Sho? Yo didn't see Fuminori again until a week later. I hate saying his name. I don't know why. Fuminori? Ugh. Until a week later, and then she could only stare at his severely wounded body through the window of the ICU. And when he was finally released after 50 days, that seemed like an eternity. He was somehow different. She's staring. She's starting to doubt that he even remembers what she confessed. <laughs> please, 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 Lord, please give me your blessings and have her confess to him right now. Well, she's a monster thing to him. <laughs> I bet that's what's gonna happen too. Uh, now winter's coming with her feelings still hanging in the air. Oh shit. Alright, well, this is happening. Okay, well, we're right into it again. What the fuck is up with this music? To Dr. Tanbo Ryoko, there is no patient more troublesome than this young man. Oh shit, I thought it was a g- Oh damn! Woo! I thought it was a guy! Oh, you a pretty doctor, ain't you? Has there been any progression since Saki Saka san? Oh, damn! <laughs> Alright, I think this is something with the game that's fucky and it's not supposed to be there. 
No, there haven't been any problems to speak of. But could you just open those up a little bit more? You seem kind of hot. <laughs> Her voice is hard. His voice is hard and flat. Oh. <laughs> His word is tossed carelessly into the air. It is as though he is speaking to himself in an empty room. I want to see what he's seeing right now. A monster doctor. <laughs> Even without training of a psychiatrist, Ryoko can clearly sense the thickness of the wall he has erected between himself and the world. Oh, yeah, you give, you give me hallucinations. I must be hallucinating to see something this fine. Oh, shit. Woo! <laughs> Have you experienced nausea, dizziness, or auditory or uh, uh, visual hallucinations? Yeah, oh, no. no, nothing. At symbol! While Sakisaka appears to be looking at Ryoko, his gaze is actually aimed at a, f a fraction down and to the side. He's only superficially engaged in a conversation he has no interest in perfect rejection. Why? Why would you reject this? What? Oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how this game works. I'm sorry. Oh, um, ooh, damn, what's this? <laughs> oh, did I skip something? Hold up. Uh, whatever. Sakisaka-san, the treatment you received at this hospital is absolute last, latest and nearest surgery. You know this, correct? Mm, oh, shit. E elimination of subdural hematoma through the use of micro-machines and treatment available in Japan only and is to university... What the f... This T University Medical Center, right. What? Uh, I, I don't know. Had been the only way to save Sakisaka Famunori from a cere cerebral contusion that should have been fatal. Uh, and he got a pretty new doctor out of it, too. Ooh. As it's a brand new treatment, we're still gathering data on it. This means that it carried risks. Mm, no doubt. No doubt. I know these risks. I'm a hard nigga. Don't even care. <laughs> Alright. Sakisaka Fumin. Oh, stop making me say his name. Lips twisted slightly in what might be a bitter or mocking smile. But it's gone before Ryoko can discern its meaning. Fuck you. Fuck you, Fuminori. Normally, normally it would be a problem for a doctor to frighten her patient like this, but... <laughs> That's gonna be your voice. I know y'all are gonna fap to that. Y'all are nasty. <laughs> there have been reports reports of serious brain disorders post-surgery. We must continue to monitor your condition carefully. Oh. <laughs> this is why he has been coming in. Ooh, damn. This is why he's been coming in weekly checkups. I don't even know what she said. I wasn't paying attention. I was just reading. <laughs> Ryoko would like her patient to take them a little more seriously, though. I am dark and brooding, and oh, I am... Uh, I hate everything. How was last week's MRI? Sakisaka asks abruptly, as though trying to catch Ryoko off guard. What are you gonna say? Mmm. Uh, MRI is a way for neural solid. Uh -huh. You can see inside people. Alright? That's, that's what it is. Oh, that's right. You're a medical student. The kind of cerebral dysfunction you're worried about should show up on, on the MRI. Were there any anomalies? I see two anomalies. I see a pair of anomalies right in front of me. Oh, damn! <laughs> they are supernatural be- <laughs> Oh, Lord! Lord have mercy on my soul. No. Mm. There was nothing, not the slightest problem. For a procedure with such a low rate of success, the results have been miraculous. Uh, however, there is still something bothering Ryuko. Mmm. Just hop on, uh, Sakisaka's lap and it'll all be okay. Presuming on what might be doctor's instinct, Ryoko believes that there is something wrong with this patient. Hmm, what gives you that idea? She can't shake the feeling that he's hiding something beneath the guard exterior, some terrible weight on his soul, fear, or perhaps suffering. It's an- Oh! I was about to say, why not just tell her- I Um, you're a giant monster. But it's because he thinks it's real. So... If it's an inorganic problem, there's nothing she can do as long as he refuses to explain it. I'm, I'm fine, doctor. After all, I'm living outside the hospital with no difficulty. What problem could there be? Give me some sass. You know, Sakisaka-san, continued observation is required after these difficult surgeries. Oh, you have to trust us a little more. <laughs> 
Okay, that's wonderful. It feels really weird doing that voice, but it's wonderful. I suppose you're right. I do want to trust you, Doctor. Can I come to you with any P problem? I don't know why it it goes as slowly. It'll go like stuttering text. Yes, of course. <laughs> Ryoko answers, smiling to cover up her irritation at being asked exactly the same question as last week. It's been a week, bitch. Calm these anomalies. <laughs> well then, let's pick up where we left left off, doctor. Have you learned anything from Professor Ogai? Uh, uh, kind of sounded like it was going to turn into a porno there for a second. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. Oh, damn. Unable to answer, Ryoko hardens the mask of her smile. He asked the same question last appointment, inquiring if he had someone who he had an asset and had no business knowing. Um, Professor Okai, what does he have to do with your treatment? It's <laughs> mm. gonna be weird editing that later. You just told me to trust you, but now you're keeping secrets, you bitch. You're a giant monster, just, I'm gonna go get a shotgun, blast your mung, your, what? <laughs> your lump of flesh you call a head. There are plenty of patients besides Saki Saka who make things difficult by jumping to conclusions. Ryoko understands that it is not unnatural, re Ugh. When someone's life is in question, whatever, I read that really bad. In Saki Saka, however, she doesn't see the short-sighted impatience that the other patients exhibit. His calm demeanor makes it seem as though he's questioning a suspect in a crime rather than a doctor. Oh god, I, I don't like doing that voice anymore, but that is her voice now, so... <laughs> he left this hospital some time ago. After all, I never had any contact with him personally. Mm, I want personal contact with you, Fuminari. Oh, damn. Well, I am your doctor, so I could do whatever I wanted. I could give you a prostate exam right now if I really felt like it. So, yeah. Deal with that shit. Do you know why he left? Yes, I believe it was personal. <laughs> we all got this smoothly, with no trace of her earlier hesitation. Mm. Having, can we get back to the monsters, please? Can I, can I, can I get back to that? Can I see some? Can I get? <laughs> can we explain that? Having decided at the outset to lie, Ryoka has no trouble doing so with a straight face. Oh, you're a lying bitch, ain't you? Uh, it stutters when I don't move the mouse. I don't know why. But why are you so fixated on Professor Ogai, Saki Saka's son? Do you know him? <laughs> Did you know that Professor has gone missing? Oh, damn. No. See, look, I move the mouse and then it... And then it fixes a stuttering. Ryoko realizes that her answer was a little too fast. She should have acted more surprised. Oh, look, see, look, 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 look. And then I move the mouse and it's smooth again. I've recently become too close with one of the Professor's relatives who has asked me to come find him. At Symbol. A relative? Ryoko considers this with a frown. I don't believe Professor Oga had any relatives. Oh, who told you that? Stupid bitch. Can you move smoothly? Do I gotta do this <laughs> so it doesn't move all janky? It was a rumor. <laughs> Alright. Ryoko replies, realizing that she had just... <laughs> What is up with my nose today? I just said earlier that she had no contact with him. Oh, I got you now, bitch. I see. So Professor Ogai was famous enough to have such rumors floating around? Stop it. Well, he was apparently an unusual man. But no one knows why he left the university? I said personal problems, you dumbass. God. Come on, smooth as butter. Mm. <laughs> Ryoko falls silent. Knowing that this isn't a topic she can brush away with just a smile. Yeah, I got you now, motherfucker. Got you in my sights. Like, uh. Like the alien from Aliens. I mean, the Predator. Those thermal vision sights, and I'm staring right here. <laughs> Second time, it seems I finally grasped her mood. However, his strange and stiff tone softens a little. Doctor, I absolutely must find Professor Ogai. There is a child who's lost without him. Can't you help me? 
それはむしろ警察の領分なんじゃないかしら。Isn't this something the police should handle? <laughs> Obviously, he acts like it's nothing. The suggestion is actually a risky gamble. Oh, God, Mr. Oh, God damn. Masayaka. <laughs> This appearance becomes a police matter. The university will likely be investigated in order to cover up the mess. Oh, God, left behind. The entire faculty will have to dispose of the evidence. And that includes Roku. I'm sorry. Oh, of course. Oh. She's gonna get killed. However, it's like a second, like they asked the police to investigate. First of all, his excuses are clearly a lie. They already made absolutely sure that he、uh, had no relatives who might be coming. Okay, so he doesn't have her, have her in, in his sights, which is what allowed him to bury the truth of what happened. But still, how does Sakasaka have no connection to this hospital other than his patient learn about Ogai? I don't know. It's like it switches from people's thoughts, and I don't know what's happening. Saki Saka san, I'm happy to tell you everything I know. However, there's been no word from Professor Ogai since he re-、uh, resigned last April. Oh. <laughs> All I can think of is that he could have gone on a long vacation or something. That's enough of that voice. I see. At symbol. Expecting resistance. Ryoko is surprised when Saki Saka backed down. Nevertheless, she's still worried about his condition, and the mysterious link between him and my old guy, Mahasahajahahahuko, is only making her more uneasy. It just, it's, I'm t h i n k i these are her thoughts now, I guess. I don't know. But as long as he doesn't open up to her, there's nothing she can do. Or does he know exactly what she's thinking? <laughs> After a brief pause, Ryoko writes, Progress good on Sakisaka's chart for today. Oh, you're a good boy. Can I get a lollipop now? About next week's appointment, Sakisaka. Saki Saka Saka Haka san, how do these four o'clock s again sound? Any time that you are here, baby. Oh shit. Oh,、uh, well, he's gone. <laughs> uh, fuck you, Ryoko. I got shit to do. But before you could finish, Ryoko looks up to see Saki Saka 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 san already hitting out the door. Um, alright, well. Okay! This guy is batshit insane. <laughs> Alright, well, I did say I wanted more gory, nasty shit, so. It looks like someone sprayed the walls with pig guts from sealing the floor, but I know that this is the hospital. Ho- I think、I'll- this nigga has put up with this for three months. I would have killed myself after two days. Not even, less than 24 hours. I would have been done. <laughs> this guy's a badass. What color should the walls of a hospital be? White, of course. It goes without saying that no hospital would ever paint its walls this color. That's not color. That's, um. Those are organs and flesh. And to the creatures of rot. What the fuck? Sham. Yeah, he does see everyone as nasty creatures. Ugh. And to the creatures of rotting flesh, this hallway probably looks just as white as it should. I know that the walls are really white and that the piles of meat are really. Hu- okay. It's like he. I don't. I can't tell if he knows that this is on his mind or not. Because he just went to a. If he's not, he just went to a demon doctor. And if he is, why isn't he saying something so he can get, like, medicine or something? Or get euthanized? <laughs> I'm, the only, I'm the one with the problem. And it's because I've accepted that this is. That. Ugh. That. This. That. I've accepted this that I'm able to live. What the? Whatever. Even in my university's medical department, there is nowhere near as good as T University. I'm still a medical student majoring neurosurgery. I have a bad idea what's happening to me, though it's hard to believe. This isn't a pathological condition. It's probably some form of agnosia or、uh, unknown type of congenitive disorder. The flesh piece called. Mmm, <laughs>、oh, sexy, sexy flesh beast. <laughs> It's called Tanvo. Ryoko said that there were、uh, patients who had developed brain disorders after receiving the same treatment as me, so I guess it's just another failure. So much for elite T University Medical School. It makes me want to laugh in that, that know it all bitch doctor's face. Do it. Do it. That said, I don't blame the doctors who operated on me. After all, I do owe them my life. I know as well as anyone the low chance of my success was there was a blah blah blah. Mmm! Mmm! Yum! Everything is just made of meat! That is awesome! Wait, 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 wait. What happens if he tries to touch it? Because there's like a lump here. It's probably just flat ground. What happens if he tries to touch it? Why doesn't he ask for help? I don't. Whatever, whatever. What it all comes down to is my bad luck. Nothing more. The point is that my condition is untreatable like everyday mental disease. Yeah, yeah, I know a very, very efficient method of treatment. It's called lead through your brain. <laughs> I have no choice but to live the rest of my life with this disorder. Um, no, I'm just walk. <laughs> Wait, is it like flesh cars? <laughs> just a, a block of quivering flesh sliding and gushing through the.、Uh, 
through this. <laughs> Just like someone adapting to a hearing aid or... Yeah, um, I don't think comparing adapting to a wheelchair is the same as this. Of course, it's hard. It's so hard. Uh, of course, um, but... It wasn't easy to resign myself to this fate, but now that doesn't more than just despair, even for me, there's a single glimmer of hope. There's no hope. Hope was lost long ago. Anyway, that's the end of this episode, everybody. Woohoo! We saw a sexy, sexy doctor. Mmm. But he just sees her as a big lump of flesh, so. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Saya no Utah! And I will see you guys on the next episode.